Tienes que saber que no es así que la Con la inigualable Jamie Osorio, bienvenida, mi amor. Ay, muchas hey. gracias. Bueno, Welcome. un fuerte aplauso para ella, por favor. Yeah. Bueno, Jamie, nosotros eh, tenemos una tradición acá. Nosotros entramos Juá cuando nos sentamos, pero como tú estás acá y tú interpretaste a Celia, en vez de Juá, vamos a decir azúcar, ¿te parece? Me encanta. We're gonna count to three and we're gonna scream azúcar and we're gonna sit down, ¿ok? All right. One, two, three, azúcar! Oye, I like it. Yeah. As a Cuban here who grew up on Celia Cruz's songs, can I ask the first question? ¿Qué? You can. You got to play an icon. <laughs> someone very, very important to my community and your community as well. Yes. Puerto Ricanos, Dominicanos, everyone from the Caribbean. Afro-Latinos, did you know the impact of, of what she meant beyond her music before you took on this role, and, and how, what did that mean for you to play her? Well, it, it, was, it was a shock for me because I knew I had, um, I had tools to learn, but I wasn't thinking about that because if I thought about how big these shoes were and the, the great responsibility I would have as to, to play this role perfectly mm -hmm. as the people are expecting, mm -hmm. you know, that I tried to put that pressure away from me and, and, and try to enjoy it. Yeah. So that's when I, that, that was the biggest challenge to put myself between I know what I'm going to represent. I know the responsibility. It, it's really big, and I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to enjoy it so that people can relate to the joy that I'm bringing through this character. That was what Celia did Beautiful. with you her did music. A great job. Now, well, one of the I things that everybody mentioned about this show is that obviously you are one of the very few uh, Afro-Latina leads on Spanish language television. So how do you feel about that? I mm. feel very proud. Mm. I feel very proud. I didn't know when I started on TV and, 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 and this acting career uh, that I would have this responsibility mm -hmm. and it would be me to also open doors for a lot of people in mm -hmm. Latin American market. And to be uh, representing the Afro-Latinas with my hair as natural as it is for more than 10 years ago. Nice. And to be thankful for having all the doors open, uh, open um, just to, to accept who I am with my hair, with my culture, with my accent. With and your beauty. Yes, Inside girl. and out, definitely. Well, well, thank you. Bueno, y cuéntale a la gente, porque tú acabas de... Tú estás radicada aquí en Los Ángeles. Sí. Y tú eh, te tropezaste con un agente de una agencia bien pequeña <laughs> llamada William Morris. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really interesting story. So can you tell people a little bit about that? Because it's like the doors really just opened up for you here in Hollywood. Bien pequeña being very sarcastic. For those that don't know, it's humongous in yes. L.A., just FYI. Well, audience. I have, to, I have to thank Celia. If it wasn't for Celia, this would, none of this would happen, right. I think. Uh, uh, this agent was watching the show. Uh, this agent from um, WME was watching the show, the show, and he happened to know a friend of my manager. But they were talking about me the same day, and I don't know how we ended up in the same place. It was a bar. We were going to meet with somebody else, and we happened to meet there. And he was like, I saw you on the TV yesterday. Wow. We were talking about you and WME, that we should get to know you. And here you are. And apparently huh. we were so connected with, <laughs> with our friends and everybody that I was like, okay. Synchronicity. That's one thing that when you come to LA, like me, you're gonna go through a very new age era in your spiritual <laughs> life and you're gonna start seeing all the synchronicity, you're gonna start seeing the fate, you're gonna start seeing that everything that's happening in your life is your destiny. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much you're for welcome. sharing that it's with me. True. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate that's my little, it. That's my salt bay moment, that's my little... Like there it is. You got it, babe. Thank you. Uh, did you regret that you didn't get to wear as many pelucas as Celia did in real life? Because as she got older, the wigs got wilder. I know, but you know what? I, 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 I am so grateful for enjoying what I, what I was given. Okay. So I knew the opportunity was to play her. Uh, was, there was supposed to be three Celias. Oh, really? The young, the intermediate, and the old one. Okay. The adult one. Right. So, I don't know, something happened that I ended up doing more than what I was expected. So it was already, I was already grateful for that. So when they told me I, somebody was playing the, the, the older version, well, mm. I was really 
happy and, and like, released. Yeah, and like I just told you, I do believe that this is something you're going to be remembered for yes. because Celia is a legend, especially in the Latin community. We love her. Mm -hmm. um, was it hard for you to get to the point where you had to dance and sing? And did you have to train very hard to get to the character? Oh. Or did you have it in you already? That th It's a mixture. I think it's a mixture of being present at mm -hmm. the moment and letting the energy and, and what you're... What you're um, um, rehearsing and listening to people that got the opportunity to meet her and listen to her music. Sometimes it was crazy because sometimes I was giving the song two hours before what? the scene and I had to memorize the song <laughs> and I had to figure out how would Celia do it. So wow. that was that was my main my main motto all the time. How would wow. she do it? How would she think? How would she breathe? How would she talk? How would she? And I think that that was the most you know important uh, fact that helped me you know. Walk and it was a challenge character. too, no? Because I mean. Having the the song two hours before, that's how we do things in Latin America. Todo yeah. último momento, pero sale y sale sí. divino. Sí, no, era era una locura. Tienes esta canción en dos horas y la so, la, la the the, the song the Spanish. scene. Okay, la, la escena va a ser one take. We're gonna do it with a Steadicam and it's gonna be one take. Oh. So you have to learn the song. Bueno. Un dos tres. Like, okay, saca. Uh, okay, entonces a memorizar de la canción, respírala como la está respirando Celia para que el doblaje sea igual. Oh. Piensa en la cámara, piensa en luces, piensa en sonido, piensa en el zapato, piensa en el mosquito que te está picando debajo de la espalda. <risa> y bueno, pues disfrútatelo. Wow. Y, no pienses, y, no pienses, y no pienses en lo, que, en, lo que, en lo que esto, a dónde va a llegar, en cómo la gente se va a sentir, si les va a gustar o no, porque pues imagínate, uno no puede complacer a todo el mundo. Ay, Pero no. si yo me lo disfrutaba, yo sabía que la gente la gente iba a sentir esa energía. Y yeah, eso totally. era lo que queríamos transmitir. Y yo lo siento. Yo lo siento. I feel it in my bones and in my soul. Eh, y yo creo que pues, eso también pues, me ayuda a, a seguir moviéndome en, ese, en esos caminos y en esos pasos. Desde sí. donde esté Celia, seguro está feliz viéndote Gracias. interpretarla. Pedro Nay, ¿ves a Rico o no ves a Rico? O el que lo interpretó. <laughs> pues mira, tiene una bembita. Esa. Ay, buenísimo. I can tell, no, I can tell we're very good friends. Y, cool. y pues la verdad, toda esta química se vio reflejada, uh, basada en el respeto that we have for each other. Okay. So. Nice. Jamie.